Hi, I'm Alex, I'm the creator behind Endless Beads and today I want to show you how to attach a fringe to your brick stitch piece. So this is my finished earring and obviously this is the brick stitch piece that you should have after you finish the first part. So now I'm going to show you how to attach the rest. So obviously you start with threading your needle with the fringe um, thread, which is slightly softer than the fire line I use for the brick stitch piece. Now to start, I usually go with usually go with the for the fourth row and starting from below pull the needle through along with my thread. This is the point where your thread can get tangled so just be careful and take your time. Again, leave the tail as you might, you will have to cut it out later and as with brick stitch you just go and pull your needle through and then you make a loop. And go down now. Now pull tight to hide the thread. Now you can go up again. And this way you finish off by having your thread coming out the bottom of the very last row. And now it's ready to get some beads on it. So this is my beads. Since I've only got two colors here, they are a bit mixed up, but that doesn't matter. And if you have a pattern like I do, prepare it now. Right, so according to my pattern, I need to start with one yellow one, six green ones, Five yellow, one green, five yellow, one green, three yellow, two green. Six yellow, two green, yellow, two green, two yellow, five green. And two yellow. Okay, now the important bit now is to transport your beads where they should be. Now you need to make sure to skip one bead and insert your needle back up again, but that is crucial to leave that one out. Otherwise, if you go back through this one, it will all fall off. So we go travel up again with your needle. Make sure you don't skip any of the other beads because it will ruin your hard work. I normally just pull it along like this. And then start again. Okay. 
Okay. When you reach the top, make sure that you go through the brick stitch how you should. And don't make it too tight because the fringe won't be able to uh, fall nicely, it will be too stiff. So make it tight but not too tight. Now travel down the second row, pull to hide the thread and just make sure it's not too tight. And now you're ready for your second row exactly the same as the first one and that's how you attach the fringe thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for some more beading tips and don't forget to visit my etsy shop endless beads see you next time